thousands of years, jellyfish have been quietly roaming the great ocean, traveling with the currents across the globe. Being the oldest multi-organed animal on this planet, they witnessed the birth of all the creatures ever known, as well as the extinction of many. It's a simple animal without a brain, and it still looks pretty much as it did about 650 million years ago. The watery body doesn't have a need for any fancy equipment, such as a stomach, intestine, or lungs. Nutrients and oxygen enter through the outer layer of the umbrella, and food, waste, and reproductive cells all pass through a single small opening under the bell. Simple but effective. The jellyfish we usually encounter are part of a class often referred to as true jellyfish. Some in this class have four oral arms hanging from the underside of the bell. And then there's the dreaded stinging tentacles protruding from the edge of the umbrella. A very loose method to determine the danger level of these translucent animals is to look at the length of the tentacles. The longer they are, the larger the prey, indicating more venom. Then there are others, without any tentacles. These are called the fried egg jellies. Instead of four oral arms, they have eight, just like the upside down jellies. These well-developed arms branch out to increase their filtering surface. They are dragged through the water to catch tiny organisms that happen to swim past. Bigger blue blubbers can reach up to 45 centimeters. They too have stinging cells, but most of them pose no real threat to humans. Although jellies are fairly simple physiologically, they have a complex life cycle as they take on two different body forms. They start off as small, white, flower-like polyps attached to rocks and reefs. Here, they feed on plankton in the water to grow and develop that familiar bell shape. This immature little jelly, no bigger than a pinhead, takes days to wriggle itself loose from the polyp. And once free, it takes on the big wide ocean to fend for itself on its nomadic journey. Being so small and drifting along, these young ones become part of the general zooplankton population, eaten by many animals. These tiny creatures are the staple food of the ocean. Without them, the ocean would look very different. If the small jelly manages to reach adulthood, it's called a medusa, and it also feeds on the same food supply it was once part of. Moon jellyfish use their tentacles to feed. These are covered in thin layers that contain cells that stick to and grip food, and others that can sting using venom. The stingers are like little harpoons that shoot out as soon as they make contact with a suitable surface. Once these cells are out, the jelly's body starts to reproduce replacements, ready for the next meal. And feeding time is serious business. Like the fried egg jelly, the blue blubber doesn't have a mouth, but rather tiny openings on its arms through which food is ingested. While pulsing through the water, these mouth arms filter feed on plankton and the stinging cells can also capture small crustaceans nearby. The oral arms transport the food up to the middle of the bell. And this is how the fried egg jelly got its name. From the yolk yellow center surrounded by the white lining. Sunny side up.
As all of the Jelly's prehistoric peers have gone extinct, one has to stand in awe of these simple yet efficient animals that have stood the test of time.